Hey guys, John and Jeff here with Best Price Nutrition. Uh, you can check out the website at bestpricenutrition.com. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about creatine, the most widely used, most well-studied yep. supplement out there. I think pretty much everybody starts off taking creatine in high school or, yes, or when they're younger. I think so. Um, and I know a couple weeks ago, Jordan talked about starting to take heftier doses yep. of creatine. And I know you're doing the same thing. Yes, yeah. I haven't started yet, but I wanted to do this video first. Um, so as you know, you know, uh, normal recommendation is five grams of creatine. You know, recycles ATP, faster recovery, increased strength, more lean muscle mass, and it's cheap. Um, and that's been what mainly people have done for years. You know, some people do the loading phase. Yeah, you know, I just saw an interesting video about loading the other day. Yeah. And they said, not to say there's no benefit to it, but they said it's kind of a scam to get people to, to take more creatine. The difference between loading and not loading and how it builds up is like minuscule. Okay, so yeah, so I used to go by the, if you load, you know, in the past, it's right. like, oh, you gotta load, you gotta yeah, load. Was a big then thing. it was yeah. just to get your muscle saturated a lot quicker, mm. but you know, when I when I start creatine up, I don't load. I right. just, you know. I just same thing. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, so that's how it's been in the past. So there, there was a recent study that came out um, about, you know, taking a higher dose. And this one they tested at 16 grams per day um, versus the five grams per day. Now you remember creatine is pretty cheap. So when you're thinking 16 grams, thinking, oh my God, it's going to be so expensive. But I yeah, think- you, about, you get this tub 200 servings. I mean, this is going to last yeah, more than that's a gonna year. Yeah, that's going to be, for, for 60, if you wanted to test this study out for your own, this is going to last you over two months for this study, you know, one bottle, because mm -hmm. you're taking 16 grams per day. But um, so this study was done um, over six weeks um, for people taking six, these were athletes taking 16 grams of creatine per day. And, you know, along with all of the other benefits that normally come along with creatine. So they, the big things that they noticed were improved reaction times. The, so, so that showed some cognitive benefits. Mm -hmm. um, it also showed, which was kind of strange, enhanced hand grip, um, which I guess would be it's good. Strength. Yeah, you know, if you're doing deadlifts or a farmer's carry, um, that would be good there. Reduced fatigue levels, you know, which is kind of common, but they saw even better, you know, that means longer workouts. And, and the biggest thing they mentioned were increased brain creatine levels, which indicated better energy metabolism. So a lot of things with, it seemed to just increase everything, but a lot of that brain, that cognitive or the cognitive benefits yeah, of the higher exactly. doses. Exactly. So, so it does seem like maybe testing out at 16 grams per day, which I'm going to do, um, could have some benefit and it's not very expensive to do that. The issue I have with this study is that it was only done with 11 participants. Okay. So it's like the one where vitamin D made your uh, made your John grow. Yes. Yeah. We have another video for, for that. Um, so very few athletes participated in this. I'd love to see more, you know, research behind going the heavier doses. But you know, Jordan, I believe, you know, I, I believe you read another study someplace about. Increasing. I'll have to ask him how much dose each is. But I think a lot of people might be wondering about like digestive issues yeah. and stuff like that, since some people have issues with creatine. But I know Jordan said no, no issues no, at all. No, really, yeah, so. you may notice some in the beginning, especially if you're not taking creatine at all. But if you're going from five grams up to sixteen grams, you should be fine. I'm going to find out. But um, as long as you take kind of a cleaner one from like high tech, um, your stomach issues should be um, okay. But the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take. Um, some in my pre-workout and some of my protein afterwards. Mm -hmm. Split it up eight and eight. Um, so I'll probably start that out around next week and then maybe we can do another video in like two Follow months once we uh, see how it worked for me. So, so yeah guys, we just want to pass this information on to you, give you some things to try out, you know, with the fall coming up and everybody bulking up. So if you do have any questions about this study or about, you know, how to do it, post it down below. We're happy to answer those questions. If you've ever taken large amounts of creatine over an extended amount of time, we'd love to hear from you. Post that as well. And if you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified every time we do a new video. Thanks for watching.